Every couple of decades, Nintendo decides to create a new IP. And like the slowpokes they are, they didn't try and make a MOBA. Nah, they wanted to get that young school shooter demographic. But it needed that Nintendo charm. They couldn't just make Mario Warfare. So Sakaguchi just bursts into the room and says, Okay, fuckers, Ika Musume is my waifu, and we are making this game about Squid Girls. Now, I got Splatoon earlier in the year, a few months after its initial release, and at the time, I thought it was pretty good. I mean, it was kind of lacking in the map department. 60 Canuck bucks was a hefty price for the content that was available at launch. But as the months went on, Nintendo just kept adding more and more maps. And now they've almost tripled the amount they had at launch, totaling out at 14 with this last update. But they kept adding new gear and weapons along with those maps. And while most of that new content is just locked on the disc, it all gets unlocked for free. And on top of that, Nintendo even holds community events bi-monthly in the form of Splatfest, all of which are hosted by the pop squid sensations Callie and Mari. Oh, and uh, Callie shitters can suck my fat tentacle, cause Mari is best squid. <laughs> yeah, and I say that because I always pick her with the Splatfest events, not because I masturbate to her. I mean, what am I, a degenerate? Of course I don't pleasure myself to lewd images of Squid Girls. I mean, that would be totally sick and disgusting, yeah. I, I bought this game because it looked fun, not because I jerked up to the characters. I swear, that's, that's why I bought it. Take it anymore, I'm gonna not, I'm gonna not you, Mari! is really fun. And creative, and I really like it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>